All right, guys. I'm doing a bit of a wing it recipe again today. Just picking me huckleberries. Huckleberries, garden huckleberries. What a prolific plant. Tell you what, you get your uh, berries for your buck with this one. I'm making, um, well, I'm going to start to make um, garden huckleberry gin. Never heard of it before. I don't know, there's no recipes from the internet or anything. So I'm going to wing it. So all we're doing now is picking these, we give them a good wash, stick them in a bag, I'm going to freeze them overnight. This is the uh, best way to get them split open rather than pricking them with a needle, which will take forever and a day. I reckon I need about a pound or so. i pick the best from each little branch. And I'll, uh, I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, then just give them a quick rinse and a strain and uh, a wash because they were lying on the, the clay. So I'm going to let them soak for a bit, give them a final drain and then put them in the freezer. Okay, here we go then, 350 grams. Yeah, three quarters of a pound, that'd be right. So I'm going to put them in the freezer now, just, uh, just gently patted them dry, they're not bone dry. Just gently pack it, so uh, in the freezer with them now, and um, tomorrow we we'll carry on. And here's the garden huckleberries. 24 hours later, after they've been in the freezer all day. Rock hard. Don't seem to split very much, but... Okay then, that's the uh, garden huckleberries, nicely defrosted. So next up, put them in a... Ooh, are we? A sealable glass jar, and then uh, pour in the gin. Here we are with the garden huckleberries in a sealable jar with the gin. Just poured it in, and already that is a gorgeous colour. It's going to be a nice one, this I reckon. Right, two mistakes people make when they make slow gin or anything like that. First mistake, they use a cheap gin. If you use a decent gin, you'll get a good quality uh, flavoured gin. The second mistake they make is they put sugar in. Now, how do you know how much sugar you need? You haven't tasted it. One year, let's just talk about slows, because I know about slows. One year, you get uh, sweet slows, another year, they won't be so sweet. You'll still put your half pound of sugar in, and it's oversweet, and it's always not very nice. So what you do is you leave it like this for a couple of months, Move it around now and again just to keep it all mixed up. And then when you want to um, think about bottling it up, you make up a sugar syrup, two parts sugar to one part water or less, and gradually pour a bit in, gradually pour a bit in, <coughs> excuse me, gradually pour a bit in, and taste it. And when it's to your taste, then it's perfect. So I'll be back in a few months to finish this off. Oh, look at that colour. This is going to be quite a spectacular drink, I reckon. Okay guys, we are now uh, 15th of December, I believe. Here is the huckleberries in the gin, and it's time to get them out. Ooh. I'm not sure if that's going to fit in that jug. Nah. Right. So. You can see that, yeah, trusty old strainer, muslin cloth, muslin, not muslin. Uh, carefully, because all those months of work, I'm going to waste if I spill this. God, you smell the gin. Oh, right, that's that finished with. And that didn't soak up too much. This is the fun part, we're going to do a taste test to see how much sugar to put in. What I've done, two to one, uh, sugar to water, mix it up. It was you know warm and it's cooled down, so that's alright. Um, I've got my little tea towel and the 
spoon in a washing cup, so I'm just going to taste a bit at a time. Mm, yeah, mm, mm. It's just like gin with them. It's almost slows, but it's not. Right, so I'm going to put about. I know I normally put half a pound of sugar in with slows, so I'm going to maybe put half of this in and. A little bit less, a little bit less probably. Oh yeah, that's sweet already. Tell you what, that's not far off actually. So oh, I like that. I'll tell you what. That's taking too long like that, it's getting out in there. Just a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. Any, any sweeter than that, and it'd be like cough medicine. Well, that's nice. Nice. That's nice. Hmm. Uh, quite like that. <laughs> right. So decanting this into this, and then that into there. Slowly. Yeah. Well, that's working, isn't it? Oh. One, maybe, maybe get a second one out of this. enjoyed that guys this new one on me huckleberry gin <laughs> if i don't see you before merry christmas meanwhile bottoms up oh yeah